Hi guys, welcome to RPA Feed channel. Today's video is going to be specific about a use case. There was a problem. Uh, one of my friend reached out to me to solve this problem through uh, using a bot, right? So they had a requirement, like for example, they had to um, test sending emails from SMTP server. He has developed one a web application where he has to send n number of emails. But how how you will send an email like you first have to generate email IDs, right? So it involved generating thousands and hundreds of email IDs on the fly. So the requirement was on the daily basis, they need somewhere around 7000 to 10,000 email IDs, unique email IDs so that they can uh, through that they can do a, a stress testing or a load testing on that API which they had developed. So for that, they were initially they were manually doing it, like going to the one of the free email website and generating email IDs and then storing it them in some of the Excel file and passing that Excel file to the web service. Then when he described this issue to me, I thought it's a very good opportunity for an RPA uh, bot. YOPmail.com in this you get temporary email IDs. So what they were doing manually is like they were clicking in on this random email generator. Once you click on random email generator, you get a random email IDs. So they used to copy this and paste it in the file. They used to create a Excel file or a CSV file, which they can easily pass it to the web service. So this is what they used to do. Uh, a, a person from their team used to do every time they used to copy this, paste it somewhere, click on new to generate a new email ID. Every time, like imagine you have to generate 5000 email IDs and you, you cannot, a person cannot keep on sitting and generating um, manually, right? It's a, it's a too painful process and a time consuming repetitive process. So what I did here was I just build a bot which mimics this action and generates the email IDs. So we'll see that bot. How, so this is one of the random real use case, right? So I have named that task as random email generator. I thought of sharing with you guys. So this is how in our day to day work also uh, the bot can help, right? It, it doesn't have to be a huge automation which is running in the production for, for your productivity, for your small kind of these kind of requirements. Also, you can build your bots. So this is how I have built this bot. I am opening the browser, yopmail.com email generator. And then uh, this is just, I am trying to log it to the text file. So whatever email IDs I'll be fetching, I, I'm just recording time here uh, because I wanted to know how much it, how much time it takes to process 1000 records. So depending on that, I can decide how long the bot should run, right? Uh, in order to generate uh, 5000 records or 3000 records in the, in the, in the long run. So I have just configured here number of email IDs. Uh, this number I have configured. Uh, so depending on the, the email IDs that you need, uh, that number can go in here. For example, if you want to generate 1000 email IDs, this number would be 1000. So loop will run 1000 times. If you want to generate 10,000, it would be 10,000. And I have tested this bot for generating 7000 uh, records. So it works fine. Uh, what we have done is we have mimicked the action. Uh, if you see here, I have used recorder command. It is just mimicking like every time it is clicking on new, uh, grabbing that email and uh, storing it in a, uh, sorry, uh, it, grabbing that email and uh, it is storing that in a temporary uh, a variable. And then at the end, once everything is done, then I'm writing that to the final uh, text file. So. Earlier, what I was doing was uh, I was just uh, as soon as I was copying the data from the email ID, the email, uh, copying the data from the website, I was I was uh, I was putting it in the text file then and there. But so uh, since file operations are very costly uh, resources, so I thought I will I'll just copy the data, store it in a, some temporary variable, and keep on keep on uh, just storing, building that string, uh, the list of all the email IDs, and then at once I will put it in one file. So I'll minimize the call. So this is if you see the step number 13 uh, and the line number 14 is one where I'm writing my entire email IDs, a stack of email IDs to the file in a one simple call rather than doing it inside the loop for each and every records. So that's where I saved a lot of time uh, and uh, uh, the bot optimized here, like the bot optimization. It was a very good opportunity uh, for optimizing my bot. right? And in the error handler, if you see, I've just put message box, but in, in uh, like 
in real scenario we don't need this but this is one of such activities so uh, I'm, I'm just putting it a message box so that in case while i'm running the bot while while the bot is running and, and the system is on uh, we should i should see uh, where it failed what was the challenge or what was the error message and uh, in the finally block i am just capturing the uh, uh, timestamp when the bot is actually uh, finished uh, copying or generating all those email ids so in this way, I get the start and finish time. I get the difference or I get the exact time, how much time it took to process uh, the request. So for example, 100 emails or 1000 emails to generate 1000 emails, it took, let's say X minutes or X hours, then I can determine or I can future project uh, if I want to um, go with 5000 5, records or 7000 records, how much time it would take. So. Um, and, and at the end I'm closing the web portal so let me run this bot and show you how it how it actually uh, does the work so this is the exciting part you all are maybe waiting to see how the bot runs and how it actually okay first let me cancel this and see uh, what is the value inside number of email IDs I don't want it to run for a thousand times but probably I'll show it to you just running for five records because otherwise it's, it will be a long running bot right I'll go into the variable section. I'll go here, number of email IDs, and currently the value is 100. I'll make it to, let's say 10. Apply, and this we can keep configurable, but uh, now let me run the bot, and let's see the magic happening. If you see, the bot is clicking on new, copy to clipboard, and it is uh, generating that, um, string variable with all those email IDs and once it is done with the 10 records it will paste them in a text file please do let me know if you have any concerns any questions in the comment section uh, bot finished its execution and uh, our text file is here. I'm not sure if I have cleared the previous run, but uh, let's see, we, we, anyways, we have the timestamp. So we'll check. Let me go to the folder and let me open the file. So this is the file. If you can see the timestamp as well, let me open this file and here we go. This has a record from a previous run as well, but uh, this is our today's run started fetching email ID. So if you note the time, it's 12, 11, 12 hours, 11 minutes and 40 seconds. And it finished execution by 12 hours, 12 minutes and 35 seconds. As I said, I tried generating 7,000 records at once. It was running for hours and uh, hours, but still it's better than a person manually doing it and generating it. A person will sit eight, eight hours long uh, day and doing the same activity, same boring activity, right? Where a user, uh, actual user can do a lot more stuff and we can live, we can have this done by a bot. Very good U RPA use case. Uh, hopefully you like this video. If you do, please share it with your friends and please subscribe to the channel in case you haven't. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.